today I have a collapsible LED lantern. It's made by Cascade Mountain Tech. Thing is, it runs on three AA batteries, and that's not very sustainable. So today I'm gonna install a couple of 18650 cells in here. These are rechargeable, and they also give me much longer runtime. And because this hack requires a teardown of the unit. I might as well gonna install extra LED inside the unit so uh, I can make it even brighter. I'm also gonna install an external connector on the bottom here so that way I can plug in external battery pack so that I can use different power source and also it can give me much longer runtime. So let's get started. To disassemble the unit you gotta remove four screws on the top and then underneath we got three more screws and then on the bottom here we got four screws here's the inside of the unit we got three strips of LED each strip has five white LED and two red LED so the small LED on here is the red LED and there's one down here. All three strips are connected in parallel and then goes through this wire on the bottom here down to the circuit board and then the main terminal goes out to the battery terminal which is same on the back here. I solder my wire to the main terminal of the battery compartment. So there are two pairs of wire here. This is the original wire. This is the extra wire that's going to go out to the 18650 battery. I'm going to run my wire through this hole and then all the way up to the top. I drew a hole on the top cover and then run the wire through. I drew a couple more holes so that I can use a zip tie to secure my battery on it. I'm going to install more LED into this lamp to make it even brighter. Problem is this is a 12 volt LED strip and it runs on 12 volts. And I only have 4 volts coming from the 18650 cell. So I'm going to use a boost converter. This board is capable of boosting the voltage from 4 volts to 12 volts. So here we go, got all of the 12 volt strips stuck in there with double sided tape. They are connected in parallel. I've also added another strip around the bottom of the diffuser. Here's what it looks like from the top. Got two wires coming out. This wire is a 12 volt wire. Comes from the extra 12 volt LED strips I've added. And this wire is going to go to my boost converter and then from there it goes out to the 4 volt battery and the battery is a 1S2P battery 4 volts 2000 mAh each 18650 cells the other wire comes from the uh, alkaline battery compartment and this is 4 volts so it goes straight to the battery I've taped my boost converter to the black cover, solder the output to the 12 volt wire, the input is going to go to my battery. Let's try and see if it works. There we go, it's working.
I've just finished soldering the wires so these two wires coming out of this hole right here so all the negative terminal go to the negative for the battery the positive wire goes to the switch and the other end go to the positive of the battery same here on the other wire the positive terminal go to the switch and then the other wire go to the positive of the battery I've got two switches here this switch turns on the 12 volts LED this switch turns on the original LED turn that on first and then there's another switch down below let's give it a try let's try the 12 volt LED first it's not bad now let's try the original lantern LED so I have to turn on the switch up here first and then this switch it's a bit brighter than the 12 volt LED that I installed that's high that's low that's red it's not very red when the white 12 volt LED is on so let me turn off the white LED to show you how red it is it's very red without the 12 volt LED on let's turn it back on so when the 12 volt LED is on the red light is not red anymore it's like pink and then the most of the light is white it's very interesting that's blinking red now let me turn off the 12 volt LED show you how red that is it's very red very interesting that's off now it's only the 12 volt LED when both of the LEDs are on the original lantern LED and the extra 12 volt LED when both of them are on it's very bright and uh, enough for me to read a book. I also have other LEDs that would fit inside the lantern and it's a lot brighter. But the reason why I choose this LED strip is because it runs cool and does not require cooling. And on the other hand, this LED runs really hot and requires a lot of cooling. But there's no air circulation inside this lantern it's completely sealed off so I cannot install this kind of LED inside this lantern I've also added an XT60 connector on the top here so I can charge the battery pack on the bottom I've also added another XT60 connector and I sold it right onto the terminal And that way I can plug in external power source and run this lantern when this battery pack runs out of power. So let me try the external battery pack here. So right now it doesn't have power. If I turn on the switch here, now it's got power. So I can turn it on. Now I turn it off. Now there's no power to the unit. I cannot turn it on okay so now I can plug this in to an external battery this is 4 volts coming out of my power bank now I can turn this on okay so if this battery pack lasts for two days this one can last for a whole week and besides this I can also use double-a alkaline battery and this is what is originally designed for Let's see if we can still put in a battery when this wire is on the way Let's 
see if it still works. There we go. It still works with alkaline batteries. So this switch here serves two purposes. Number one is to disconnect the main battery from the main unit so that I can plug in external battery source. And purpose number two of this switch is because the main circuit board inside the lantern has a phantom load. What that means is this unit uses power even when it's turned off. So if you leave the battery connected for a while, it will eventually completely empty the battery. So next time you take it out for camping or out for an emergency, it will not turn on. And for a lithium ion battery pack like this, it will destroy the battery pack in no time. And the switch on the other side is just simply to turn on and off the extra LED 12 volt LED strip that I installed in the unit. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.